We are in, uh, in Austria, in Vorarlberg, at Würzer Platte, under Prinzip Hoffnung. It's a route established by a uh, bad Kammerlander, I think in the 90s. He first climbed it with uh, bolts. And then, I think in 2008 or 2009, he decided to remove the bolts. He just climbed that with uh, nuts and tread protections. I remember when uh, I first saw the pictures of Beat on a climbing magazine. At the time I was just competing and climbing indoors, so it was something completely crazy for me. It was something that I couldn't believe to, to climb one day. But then I started rock climbing more and multi-pitch to track climb a few times. And last December I just feel that I wanted to climb it, I wanted to, to see what what was. So I first just wrapped down the route to, to check the protection to see how it is and I immediately fell in love with that. After a couple of weeks I came back alone, I just wrapped down again and I started to, to check all the moves and Babsi got really motivated to try it too. So it was nice to, like, to come together and try to top rope. At one point I felt really comfortable on it and so I, I decided to, to try it from the ground. The route is about 40 meters long or something like that. Um, the first part is not that hard, I think it's about 70 plus. But the very first part, like the first 10 meters are really dangerous because you can't place a good gear, so it actually is the scariest. After that, you have some 5 or 10 more meters, which are not so hard and the, the gear is okay. And then you come to a, a good rest when you place two good gears, and then the crack starts. Basically the, the first crack stops, and then there is another one which starts 5 meters or 6 meters above. There is like a blank section where you have to climb on really small and flat holes and stand on really really small and flat footholds. And actually that, that's the problem when you when you climb it and when you have to place the gear because you have to spend a lot of time placing the gear, standing on the on the same footholds and holding the same holds. You don't really get tired but you feel that you lose like body tensions and that you are just falling off the wall. That was actually the, the hardest thing to trust the, the feet and the small holds. And after that, you climb six meters of technical climbing on the slab, and then you reach the other crack, which is, I think, around 7B or 7B plus. It's not so hard, and the gear is pretty good, but there are some weird moves, so you really have to stay concentrated until the end. Climb the route for me was something really intense, and uh, I invest so much energies on it that like at the point when I, I clip the chain, all the energies, like uh, all the effort, concentrate in one moment. And yeah, it was really, it was really nice sensation. And after that, there is always the, the feeling that something nice is finished. So you are happy, but at the same time, you feel that something finished, and so you don't know what's what will be, will be the next. Epa! Vai col pugno! <laughs>